Good evening everyone, welcome to Compline for June 27th, our 103rd evening of COVID Compline. Um, tonight we have our, as our psalm, Psalm 74. Hey Karen, how's it going? And we have, uh, I think for our song, we have... Good evening. Um, Refiner's Fire by Brian Dirksen. I'm not sure if he wrote it originally, but he's the version that I have here. So purify, yeah, purify my heart. And since you're in early, you get the quick, quick sneak peek of the story tonight. Don't tell anyone else. Welcome, Zafira. Hi. This is a little girl that we found in the park today. She seemed like she needed a place to live, so we offered. And she seems to be just eating all the food in our fridge Dad. before she leaves again. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Welcome, Nana. Welcome, Rose and Heidi. Katika, blessings to you. Blessings, Carrie. I hope today was a better day than than the last couple. Heidi, how's your headache today? <laughs> there, you made Heidi's day. Mm -hmm. She says, that makes my day. I think she was talking about you and not the lumberjack's beard. <laughs> um, yeah, well, let's take a moment to quiet our hearts and begin as it is good and wise to begin all things under the care of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> oh, that was Morse code for I love you. Let's pray. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we humbly thank you for your goodness to us and to all that you have made. We praise you for your creation, for keeping us and all things in your care and for all the blessings of life. Above all, we bless you for your immeasurable love in redeeming the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with thankful hearts, we praise you not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving ourselves to your service and by living in your gifts of holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all worship and praise, now and forever. Amen. Oops. And Joe asleep, Nana, or are you guys watching Compline together tonight? I'm glad, glad you're making progress, Heidi. Hi, Marilyn. And Irene. Blessings to you all. Well, let's begin. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. By day, O God, you grant your steadfast love, and at night your song is with me. A prayer to the God of my life. Well done. Friends, let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Welcome, Michelle. I confess to God Almighty before the whole company of heaven and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned by my own fault in thought, word, and deed. I pray God Almighty to have mercy on me Forgive me all my sins and bring me to everlasting life. 
Almighty and merciful God, grant you healing, pardon, and forgiveness of all your sins. Amen. I confess to God Almighty before the whole company of heaven and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned by my own fault in thought, word, and deed. I pray God Almighty to have mercy on me, forgive me all my sins, and bring me to everlasting life. Almighty God and God, grant your healing, pardon, and forgiveness of all your sins. Amen. You want to read the song? Read the song sure, which one is it? 74. Is it as long as the other one? Not as long as the last one you did. Pretty close though. Mm -hmm. Well, the other one is actually like a whole page long, so. Yeah. Lift it up a bit and then I'll be able to see your face read. O oh God, why have you utterly cast us off? Why is your wrath so hot against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation that you purchased long ago, the tribe you redeemed it to be your inheritance, and Mount Zion where you dwelt. Turn your steps towards the endless ruins. The enemy has laid waste everything in your sanctuary. Your adversaries roared in your holy place. They set up their sandals as symbols of victory. They came like, pe like people bearing axes to cut down a grove of trees. They broke down all of your carved work with hatchets and hammers. They set fire to your holy place. They defiled the dwelling place of your name and raised it to the ground. They said to themselves, let us destroy them altogether. They burned down all the meeting places of God in the land. There are no signs for us to see. There is no prophet left. There is not one among us among us who knows how long. How long, O oh God, will the adversary scoff? Will the em enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you draw back your hand? Why does your right hand lie weary in your bosom? Yet God is my king from ancient times, victorious in the midst of earth. You divided the sea by your might and shattered the heads of the dragons upon, upon the waters. You crushed the heads of Leviathan and gave it to desert creatures for food. You split open spring and torrent. You dried up ever flowing rivers. Yours is the day, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Remember, O oh Lord, how the enemy scoffed and how a foolish people despised your name. Do not hand over the life of your dove to wild beasts. Never forget the lives of your poor. Look upon your covenant. The dark places of the earth are haunts of violence. Let not the oppressed be put to shame. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O God, maintain your cause. Remember how fools revile you all day long. Forget not the clamor of your adversaries, the continuous tumult raised by your enemies. A couple of really simple words in there. I'm like, why am I, I'm like, numb. I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, I can't talk today. <laughs> it's tricky sometimes, isn't it? Which light just zapped on? I don't know. Did that one go brighter or this one? That one. Oh. Fan. Weird. You can pick a couple of those after we sing. Hey, Aaron, welcome to you. Um, PD, blessings. Carrie, I wanted to say, um, I think it was In the City that you had requested. I don't know that song, so I listened to it a couple times today. I will keep listening to it, especially if we're singing a cappella. I have to know it pretty well to be able to keep it together. So we'll attempt that, but uh, I'm not ready quite yet for tonight. So for tonight, we're going to sing Refiner's Fire. Feel free to make a request. We are away from hymns for a little while and into campfire songs. So Aaron, if you have any requests or any of you, um, we'd love to sing on them. An with, yeah, we're more <laughs> singing the serious ones yeah. than the crazy campfire songs. 40 days on an iceberg. <laughs> but uh, we did attach to last night's Compline two different um, websites. I think Hastings Lake Lutheran Bible Camp is doing um, Every Sunday, they're releasing a video on their Facebook page of a campfire. 
and then uh, Camp Kyriakis on Sylvan Lake is uh, a live campfire every Sunday at 7 p.m. on their website. So uh, check out those links from day 102 if you would like to have a campfire with mm -hmm. awesome counselors leading the songs and everything uh, on Sunday nights. Karen says you did a great job, Zafira. If you stumbled over a word or two, I didn't notice them. Oh, I need these on a nice person. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's not exactly a compliment. So. Uh, here we go. Do you, you'll know this one, I think. So it goes like this. We'll sing it high first, and then um, Zafira will probably continue high, and I'll, I'll go a little lower. Remember this one? Uh. Goes, Purify my heart, let me be as gold and precious silver. Purify my heart, let me be as gold, pure gold, refiner's fire. My heart's one desire is to be holy, set apart for you, Lord. I choose to be holy, set apart for you, my master, ready to do your will. Purify my heart. Cleanse me from within and make me holy. Purify my heart. Cleanse my sin deep within. Refiner's fire. My heart's one desire is to be holy, set apart to you, Lord. I choose to be holy, set apart for you, my master, ready to do your will. Okay, you keep it up there. Refiner's fire. My heart's one desire is to be holy, set apart for you, Lord. I choose to be holy, set apart for you, my master, ready to do your so tell us where where you're reading them from too so the, they're here right what yeah can i do three yeah these ones yeah right so the first one i'm going to do is from is second corinthians four verses six to seven six to seven it is the God who said, let light shine out of the darkness, who has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in clay jars so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. Amen. And then the second one is from 1 Peter 5, chapter 5, verses 6 to 9. Humble yourself under God's mighty hand, so that God may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on the one who cares for you. Discipline yourselves. Keep alert like a roaring lion. Your, de your adversary, the devil, prowls around, looking for someone to devour. Resist the devil steadfast in your faith. And then the third one, from Revelation chapter 22, verse 5. There will be no more night. The servants of God need no lamp of light of lamp or sun for the lord god will be their light and they will reign forever and ever amen thanks Saz. well done hi alan blessings to you
Devin, blessings. We got a good uh, Winnipeg contingent out tonight. I th I'm assuming you're still in Winnipeg. Good to see you. Uh, the last time you saw Zafira, she was about one years old. So <laughs> it has been a decade. Yeah, Devin's from the church that we interned at, where you some of your first words were, "All done, Daddy." When I was preaching. <laughs> like the sermon is too long. Yeah, it's like every year of your life you've just felt stronger and stronger that way. <laughs> um, let's sing together our response tree. So your part goes like this. Into your hands I command my spirit. Into your hands I command my spirit. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I command my spirit. Into your hands I command my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I command my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I command my spirit glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit into your hands i command my spirit guide us waking o lord and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Friends, for what and for whom shall we pray this night? Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness I shall see you. When I awake, your presence will give me joy. Welcome, Stuart. Grandma, welcome. Remy. Holy God, we give you thanks this day for the little blessings that continue to encourage us and rejuvenate us. We give you thanks for a new species of bird spotted in the park behind our house today. Uh, we give you thanks for family bike rides, for special Nana time, give you thanks for a quiet day to relax and tidy up. 
We give you thanks for the rain that has greened things up so much and for all the wildflowers on the big hill. We give you thanks for tasty reeds and lots of giggles and laughs. Lord, when the big stuff rises up and captures our attention and threatens to overwhelm us, threatens to make us afraid, frustrated, we pray that you'll speak to us in the little things. Lord God, you will call your people. You call your people to honor those in authority. Help us elect trustworthy leaders, participate in wise decisions for our common life, and serve our neighbors in local communities. Bless the leaders of our land that mm. we may be at peace among ourselves and a blessing to other nations of the earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, we lift up to you all the nations of the earth. And pray that we would have ears to listen, hearts to hear, eyes to see, as you speak to us about how precious and vital are all your people. We lift up to you the people of New Zealand and Australia, the people of Togo, the people of Vanuatu. We lift up to you the people of Ecuador, and the people of Chile. We pray, Lord, for the people of Venezuela and the people of Brazil. We lift up to you your people in Sweden and Lithuania. We lift up to you the people of Germany and of Italy. We pray for the people of Morocco and Egypt, the people of Sudan and Ukraine. We lift up to you the first peoples of the lands, the Sami. the Anishinaabe, the Cree and Blackfeet. Blackfoot. Lord, be with your people. Deliver us all in the midst of this pandemic. And give us ears to hear what you are speaking to us, to your people in general and to your church specifically in this time of challenge and upheaval. We pray giving thanks for researchers at the U of A and at Dalhousie moving to human trials, testing vaccines this summer. Lord, we pray that you would bless and speed along their work, along with all others working on vaccines. We pray with Rose and Carrie. We pray for Chris Feltmate's health and give thanks that you have brought him through the trials of this day. We give thanks for capable uh, emergency doctors and nurses, for support of family and friends, for prayers across North America. We give you thanks, Lord, that you have brought him through some of the pain and fear of the day, and that you have brought to his attention things that need to be follow up, followed up and addressed we give you thanks and pray a uh, blessed and holy and peaceful sleep 
for the Feltnate family tonight. We pray uh, for Chris's endurance and uh, unending hope as you bring to completion the healing you've begun. Holy Trinity, one God, you show us the splendor of diversity and the beauty of unity in your own divine life. Make us who came from many nations with many languages a united people that delights in our many different gifts. Defend our liberties and give those whom we have entrusted with authority the spirit of wisdom and that there might be justice and peace in our land. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our sovereign and our savior. Amen. Amen. We pray tonight with Sam and Mike, Lord, that you would give them peace and moments of joy. Give them opportunities to express their love and care for one another. We pray, Lord, for Mike's doctors and nurses and care team, that you would give them wisdom and help them to control Mike's pain. We pray for Tammy and with Tammy for a good night's rest, for your blessing of peace and calm as she rises tomorrow to serve. We pray with Heidi tonight and all Papa Howie's friends and family. Pray, Lord, that you would block and release uh, Papa Howie's nausea today. Help him to know your nearness in the midst of his every trial. And grant him this mercy, we pray. Lord, we pray for people in Edmonton uh, this night and through the summer who are under housed precariously housed for those who are homeless and sleeping rough lord we pray giving thanks for the great services offered at northlands since the beginning of the emergency was declared back in march and as those services lord begin to be wrapped up and moved back to Boyle Street and uh, the core of the city. Lord, we pray that none of your beautiful children would fall through the cracks. We pray, Lord, for those afflicted by temptations and addictions, by those who be have become enamored with destruction and with self-destructive behaviors. Lord, we pray that you would shine light into that darkness and send along persons of peace, not to convert or save, but to redirect and to speak of your precious and beautiful grace. God of compassion, whose son became poor for our sake, Help us to see the face of Christ in those who are poor and in serving them to serve you. Mm -hmm. Give us generous hearts so that those living in poverty may have adequate food, clothing, and shelter. Yes. By your spirit, move us to affirm the dignity of all people mm -hmm. and work for just laws that protect the most vulnerable in the society. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm Pastor Heidi. Welcome. Marie, welcome to you. Thanks for joining us these nights. We pray to together with Robin for the wild habitat that roam through our yards. May we learn to live with them and keep them safe from harm. Yes, Lord, give us hearts to coexist amidst the plentiful and diverse goodness of your creation. Forgive us when our ways of life 
pollute rivers and streams and oceans, earth and sky. Teach us to walk a gentler path upon this your good earth, that we might be good elder siblings of our animal brothers and sisters. This is the very last one in this section. It's Prayer of Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Mm -hmm. I think it is. Make us worthy, Lord, to serve our fellow human beings throughout the world who live and die in poverty and hunger. Mm -hmm. Give them through our hands this day their daily bread, and by our understanding love give peace and joy. Amen. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night. So that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of life may find our rest in you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus, remember us as you usher in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now in peace I will lie down and sleep. You alone, O God, make me secure. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Friends, go in peace. Go to rest, to sleep so that sleeping you might root in the grace of God and rooted rise to love and serve God through your neighbor tomorrow. And now it's time for story time with Phil and Zaz. Tonight's uh, bedtime story is The Lumberjack's Beard. It's sort of of a theme. Uh, we had already picked it, but it actually fits well with Robin's prayer request tonight. So I think it should be good. Some people living in poverty, because a lot of people living in poverty don't have proper houses. That's very true. So that's, that's very true. Grandma, here you go. Just making sure I'm not blocking your face with the book. <laughs> like last time. <laughs> the Lumberjack's Beard by Duncan Beattie. Big Jim Hickory was a lumberjack. He lived by the forest in a little log cabin. This is also a very Canadian story. He had big burly shoulders and a big bristly beard. Every morning, he did limbering up exercises. It's very important to limber up if you're a lumberjack. In this one, he kind of looks like a bear. I thought he split his pants. I thought he was <laughs> bending over the other way, but it's his belly. 
He does look a bit like a bear. Big hump on his back. After a hearty breakfast of pancakes and maple syrup, Jim slung his trusty axe over his burly shoulder and headed out into the forest. I think the reason he makes me... I think the reason he looks like a bear is because his back legs are like tiny and his front legs are so big and it's like his, his arms, front legs. I'm sorry, I, I was completely on bear mode there. <laughs> chop, choppity chop went Jim's axe. Timber! Echoing through the valley as he felled tree after tree. After a long day of swinging, whacking, cleaving, and hacking, Jim headed back to his cabin. That evening, when he was just about to go to bed, he heard a peck, peckety peck at the door. Jim looked down to see a small and very angry bird. I have just built my new nest in that tree, shrieked the bird. And you've chopped it down. Well, Jim scratched his chin. And then he had an idea. Well, I suppose you could move into my beard, he said. Very well, then, said the beard. Bird. The beard. <laughs> Very well, then, said the bird. Beard. Very well, then, said the bird. Said and, the beard. And in it flew. <laughs> That's like daily swords. His, uh, his beard looks like it could talk. The next morning, Jim woke up earlier than usual due to the birds chirping at the crack of dawn. Like so he much. did his limbering up exercises, got dressed, and ate his breakfast with a little help from the new tenant Oops, in his beard. Jim's next job was to strip all the branches and leaves from the tree trunks and burn them in a big bonfire. After a long day of chopping, snapping, burning, and crackling, Jim trudged back to the cabin for a well-earned rest. No sooner had he put away his axe then he heard a noise at the door. Scratch, scratchity scratch. He looked down to see a very angry porcupine. I needed those leaves and pine needles to make a cozy shelter, but you burned them. Where am I going to live now? Snapped the porcupine. Well, Jim thought and scratched his chin. Well, he said, I suppose you could move into my beard. And he went down and the porcupine crawled in. The next morning, Jim woke up even earlier than att and attempted to do his limbering up exercises. He looked in the mirror and scratched his chin. Yow! He got porcupine quills in his fingers. He tried to eat his breakfast, but he lost his appetite when he noticed the bird poop on his shirt. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Jim's job that day was to float all the tree trunks down the river to the lumber yard. One by one, he rolled the logs into the fast flowing water. But the lumber yard is right there. Couldn't he just like drag them over? <laughs> Have you ever dragged a log? It'd be fast. Well, it would be faster to float it down the river, but I don't really get why. Like, you'd have to roll it into the river, and then you'd have to get it out of the river. You're ruining the drama of the story. I'm sorry. How else would he get to meet the beaver if he didn't float the logs in the river? Maybe he would accidentally swing one and break the dam. <laughs> <laughs> After a hard day of lugging, splashing, rolling, and crashing... Jim staggered back to his cabin. Thwump, thwumpity thwump went his door. He looked down to see a very angry beaver on his doorstep. I spent all day building my dam and it got smashed to bits by those logs you threw in the river. You sound like Mr. Woodchuck. It snarled without a word. Jim picked up the beaver and put it in his beard. 
Between the birds chirping, the porcupines prickling, and the beavers thwumping, Jesus. Between the birds chirping, the porcupines prickling, and the beavers thwumping, Jim didn't get much sleep that night. I don't see how anyone could get any He sleep. was too twired, tired to do his limbering up exercises in the morning. Why? And the beaver's thwumping tail knocked his pancakes all over the floor. Davy Swords. That's it, cried Jim. I can't take it anymore. You'll all have to move out today. But where can we live, cried the animals. As Jim scratched his chin, he had a brilliant idea. He went into his bathroom, took out a razor, and began to shave off his big, bristly beard. It probably took at least an hour because that, look, that beard looks like it's pretty thick. Then he took the hair and piled it up on his porch. And the bird, the porcupine, and the beaver all moved in to their big, bristly new den. That night, Jim slept better than he had for some time. He woke up and did some particularly vigorous limbering up exercises. More flexible than me. And put a fresh plaid shirt on. Then he made an enormous tower of pancakes and maple syrup. Jim looked out the window at the bare ground where the forest used to be and scratched his now stubbly chin. Then he had another brilliant idea. Jim took his shovel and dug hole after hole after hole after hole and planted tree after tree after tree after tree. You should join the Ten Trees movement. <laughs> Jim's beard grew back over time and the trees they took quite a bit longer. The beaver is listening to the iPod. But it was worth the wait. It's probably like the end. ten years later or something. Cause like say good night, Zafira. Night. You're supposed to say good night, Zafira. Good night, Zafira. <laughs> Good night, Karen. Hey, Karen. Good night, Karen Lindsley. I'm just catching up on your story here, Karen. Yeah. Yeah, the things we take for granted. Did you see that? Robin has a bear that hangs out in her backyard. What? Oh my gosh. Yeah, they live, live in a pretty Lake Ridge? No, they live in BC. Prince, I want to say Prince Rupert, right? No, I think I got that wrong. Prince George. I think Prince George, BC. Uh, good night, Grandma. Good night, Heidi. Good night, Auntie Lori. Good night, Karen and Robin. Good night, Heidi. Good night, Rose and Dave. Good night, Carrie and Curtis. Good night, Tyler. Good night, Pastor Heidi. Good night, Nana. Good night, Marie. Good night, Remy. Good night, Stuart. Good night, Alan. Good night, Devin. Good night, Carrie. Good night, Aaron and PD. Good night, Michelle. Good night, Joan. That reminded me of uh, Frozen just now. Good night, Joan. Hang in there, Joan. <laughs> Good night, my. Marilyn and Irene.
Good night, Katika. Good night, everyone.